Hi, welcome back Russell Sturgis again with our latest blog and uh, this time I've been writing about the spirituality supermarket. It's sort of that whole idea where today we have this plethora of spiritual product out there that we're able to, to choose from that often leaves people quite confused in terms of which way to go. And, and so one of the things that I've done in this blog is given you some key things to look for in terms of helping you make those decisions. Of course, what that relies on is where you are at in your spiritual journey. And, you know, sometimes I can be a bit flippant about the things that are out there, all the different cards and angel cards and, and you know, crystals and, and all these things. But funnily enough, um, many times these are the very things that help people at an entry level. Um, for example, get onto their spiritual path and maybe sustain them for quite some time as they, as they start on that journey. So, so I think it's about, first of all, being aware of, of where you're at and what your needs are and then being able to look at what's there and, and what speaks to you to start off with. You know, even the ancient teachings talked about the fact that there were different degrees of spiritual evolution or they were referred to as degrees of glory. And even in the ancient temples, they talked about the glory or the understanding of the stars, um, which is entry level. And then there's the understanding of the moon. And then they talk about the understanding of the sun, the glory of the sun. So it, it sort of approaches this whole thing that some people can only handle so much um, um, spiritual evolution and understanding and, 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 and they reach their level. Now this works on the whole idea that um, in, in a reincarnation philosophy that we get plenty of opportunity to, to come back and work on that and that it's okay that this time around where we maybe only got to the glory of the stars or some of us have got to the glory of the sun. I think one of the key measures about understanding when something's fulfilled its purpose in terms of helping you on your spiritual journey is, is it helping you to maintain a sense of peace? Is it helping you to live life in, with awareness and stillness? Or do you find yourself back in those issues of, of tension in relationship, struggling to be fulfilled in your work, issues around well-being, mental confusion, I mean, if those things are still continuing to be perpetuated week to week and month to month in your life, then the tools and the, and, and the products that you're using spiritually um, aren't serving their greatest purpose. And so it may be that that's an indication that it's time now for you to look for something else. And really, that's the basis of this blog is what to look for in terms of the sorts of things that um, would be beneficial to you in terms of expanding your awareness and being able to maintain lives of stillness. We live in an amazing time. When you think back just a couple of hundred years ago, basically for most of us in, in, in the Western world, if you wanted to find out something about who you were spiritually, there was only one place to go and that was religion in its different forms. Now we live in a world where there are so many so many choices in terms of where you can go spiritually that is outside of the confines of religion. I went into um, a store this morning that was sort of a, a well-being store and there were just shelves and shelves and shelves of things in there, crystals and, and books and um, um, oh, you name it, singing bowls. There are so many things there that can help us along the journey. At the end of the day, and there was a great Christian concept where Jesus said, by their fruits you shall know them. And I think that that's relative to these spiritual products today. Are the fruits of these products resulting in you having a better quality of, of life? Is it, is it ha helping you to have clarity? Is it helping you to be happier in how you engage your life? Are you free from the beliefs and the attitudes that constrict you and, and, and hold you down? And, and, and do you have that clarity about how to move forward? If those things aren't happening, then maybe 
the spiritual products you're using don't serve you anymore. It's time to, to look for some more. Anyway, hope you enjoy the blog. It's an interesting one, this whole idea that we now have a spiritual supermarket. Uh, if you've got any comments, please um, go on to the, the blog and, and, and make the comments, and we'll speak to you in a couple of weeks. Speak to you then. Bye.